I know JYP has a huge meme right now in the K-pop community. I mean, he doesn't do himself any favors with stuff like this. <laughs> But no matter how embarrassing he may be, JYP is actually a music and business mastermind and probably the most influential person in K-pop history, making the most hits in K-pop. Okay, maybe some of you are shaking your head right now, but the biggest names in the first, second, third, and fourth generation of K-pop were from JYP Entertainment and even a new girl group coming out early next year. But is he about to make his biggest mistake ever? Wait, I already did that video. Well, sh now let's take a second to thank today's amazing sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is that online learning community you've been looking for. With thousands of classes, you can find a new skill, get even better at an existing passion, or let your creativity take over. And a membership of Skillshare gets you access to high quality classes. Love working with your hands? There's arts and craft classes. Want to impress on your next date? Take some cooking classes. Want to start your own YouTube channel so you can make some extra queso? There's a class for that too. I honestly believe that we're all creative in our own ways, but maybe you need to find a place to start. I got the perfect class for you. Check out Find Your Style, five exercises to unlock your creativity identity. Taught by illustrator, designer, and podcaster, Andy J Pizza. Yeah, that's his last name. This course is dope because if you see right here, it's for all levels, not just beginners or experts. Andy takes you through finding your own style, whether you do art, shoot video or photos, or make music. Instead of talking about it, he will explain through exercises to find out where you draw inspiration from to build your unique style. Skillshare is specific specifically curated for learning. There are no ads and they always launch new premium classes. And now we get to the most important and juicy part of- I should- I should've used another one. The first 1,000 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So I'd say definitely take advantage of that whole free month and remember to use the link in my description so that they know that I sent you and it helps out my channel big time. I'd appreciate it. Big thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and now back to my video. Let's start all the way back to a baby JYP. He grew up with a father who was a news correspondent based in the US. When he went on an assignment in New York, Park Jin-yeon and his family moved to the US and that's where Park Jin-yeon learned to speak English and probably develop his ear for music. He would go back to Korea to wrap up his studies and graduate before attempting to debut as a singer in 1994. But there is one story that could have changed everything for the future of JYP Entertainment and its groups when Park jin auditioned for SM Entertainment. By then, JYP was so tired of auditioning for K-pop companies that his audition for SM would be his last. He said Lee Soon Man, the founder of SM Entertainment, turned him down but offered to buy the song he auditioned with, which was JYP's original song he wrote. However, the story may not be true after Lee Soon Man himself said he asked JYP to come back and audition again, but he never showed up. Whatever really happened turned out to work perfectly for JYP. Park jin would debut as a solo artist and even establish his own label JYP Entertainment a few years later in 1997, starting it all with the first generation K-pop group G.O.D. With some of their biggest hits produced by, you guessed it, JYP. Pachinon later went to America to produce music for American artists like Will Smith. Yeah making him the first Asian producer to make the jump across the world. There he would build up some connections over time, which he would use when his girl group The Wonder Girls made their American debut with Nobody in 2009. Hey, it's The Wonder Girls! That was the first song of JYP's and K-pop to debut on the Billboard Hot 100 chart at 76. Over the years, JYP balanced working on the company, debuting groups, producing, and even his solo music, which was surprisingly successful. His early solo work sold nearly millions, but then he smartly relied on collaborations later to produce viral songs in Korea. You've heard of some of them like Who's Your Mama with Jesse having over 1 million downloads, or how about I'm So Sexy with Yuji Sub with a nearly million in downloads as well. JYP continued to stretch out his solo career with even more collabs with Fever, Sunmi, When We Disco, and Rain Switch To Me. Which is funny because actually the Dayeon Cheung cover has more views than the original, but I, I, I just find that funny. I'm not saying he needs these collaborations to have a successful solo song, but he knows what he's doing. And probably what JYP is most known for is... 
Thank you for that, Daehyun. Yes, the iconic JYP whisper trademark. Arguably the most profound K-pop producer of all time. He's been writing and producing for his groups from the 90s to now. That's over 22 years of JYP. Like seriously, you have to give him a little bit of thanks for iconic K-pop songs like 2PM's I'll Be Back, Hands Up, Miss A's debut, Bad Girl, 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 Goodbye Baby, the first K-pop act to chart in America, Wonder Girls with Nobody, like I said, their other song I Feel You, Got 7's debut, and their most commercially successful song Just Right, Summy's first solo 24 hours, and he did a handful of songs for Twice debut album, helping in IOI's biggest single release during their year of activity, very, very, very. Twice again with What Is Love, Stray Kids, My Pace, JYP's newest girl group, Itzy, with their first comeback, Icy. Twice again with Feel Special, More and More, and now Alcohol Free, Itzy, a couple more times with Not Shy, and Mafia just to name a few. Because the ones I'm about to mention now are the songs fans of JYP groups in Korea say JYP lost his touch and shouldn't produce for JYP artists anymore. We're talking about a more recent example that actually started a massive backlash against JYP is Itzy's latest comeback, Mafia. Or Mafia in the morning. I don't. Why, why is it called in the morning? Yet? Korean fans especially blasted his personal Instagram account, sharing their disappointment in the song and begging Park Jin Nun to stop making songs for girl groups completely, saying the lyrics are cringy and outdated. Going as far as to say that he is ruining Itzy's future as a group. Outside of Korea, most Itzy fans didn't see Mafia as a problem. Suddenly, though, JYP was a target not just for his songs but for his over-involvement in his group's activities. So he became a giant meme. Okay, I can admit some of these are funny. I may look for the JYP high note once a day, but how is it that JYP can be loved for his work to help get K-pop to where it is and now blamed for his involvement in the same work today? I think it comes from his ability to always be in the conversation of his artists. For good or bad, JYP is always there. Basically, I think some people are tired of seeing his face when they want to see their favorite artists. But when I really sit and think about it, JYP is the only producer in K-pop that is keeping what makes K-pop K-pop, especially now. A recent report by the Korean news outlet Dalian exposed that K-pop producers are getting frustrated with companies asking for billboard-like songs. The massive success of groups like BTS and Blackpink on US music charts are pushing K-pop companies to ask for that same sound from music producers for their own groups in hopes of mimicking that success on charts like Billboard. With K-pop groups now becoming mainstream, so is the sound of new releases from those groups. The same producer these companies are coming to are saying that these companies shouldn't be chasing the success of other groups to reach the biggest audience possible, but to think why did K-pop become popular in the first place. And with many now praising JYP once again for his work on Twice's summer release Alcohol Free, and only days later after they were upset about Mafia said that they enjoyed the song, maybe this man, this mastermind, this living meme was right the whole time.